Target, the largest employer in Minneapolis, is downsizing its downtown office space. In an email to employees, Target says this, the company is vacating its city center location. That is one third of its downtown office space. WCCO's Caroline Cummings explains what's driving the move and how it will impact more than just people who work at Target. Target's corporate presence in Minneapolis has defined the downtown work landscape, the city's largest employer with 8,500 working at its headquarters. But after the pandemic upended how we live and work, the company is looking to a post COVID future that gives flexibility for employees to still work remotely, which means saying goodbye to nearly 1 million square feet of office space at City Center, one third of its downtown footprint. That's definitely going to have an impact on us. Fewer people commuting consistently. To target downtown means less foot traffic in businesses like Kumfasu, all of it, a cozy space that benefits from a lunchtime rush. Everybody was wondering, is this going to become the new norm where everybody's doing this hybrid model? Um, and so I think that hybrid model will have an impact on businesses like us that depend solely on, uh, not solely, but majorly on the businesses that are working downtown. Steve Kramer, CEO of the Minneapolis Downtown Council, says Target's move to downsize really could be the new normal, and the group is working to. To adapt. There is a period of adjustment here, there's no question, and this announcement by Target is probably the clearest reflection of that reality that we'll be experiencing, as will downtowns all across the country. Even though Target is shedding the city center location, it isn't shedding those jobs. The 3,500 employees who worked there will have the option to work at other Target locations, like this one here in downtown Minneapolis on 11th Street. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. Target will continue to occupy more than 3 million square feet of office space in Minneapolis and Brooklyn Park, but it will keep calling the Twin Cities home.